Hello StarDrive modders, this is Zero, and I'm going to be showing you how to get uh, your ships into StarDrive 2. Now, you're, go you're going to need Unity to do this, and you're going to need this Unity project, which is available on the forums. This is a stripped down version of what I use to put ships into the game, and uh, I've made it so you can export a file here after properly preparing a ship. You can just export it, and StarDrive 2 will pick it up and know what to do with it from there. So it takes about five minutes to prep a ship, and I'll show you how it's done. Now the first thing you're going to need is some good Star Trek models, or Star Wars models, or whatever else you want to use. I've got some that McShooters gave to me. He made a nice mod for Star Drive 1. And uh, if I look at my my Unity project, all right, I'm um, in the mod kit scene. All right, So this is exactly what it'll look like when you open it. Uh, and then you can grab a .obj file with the relevant textures and drag it in. Okay, So you need to have a single mesh as your uh, as your model. It can't be some crazy mesh that's got like 30 different sub meshes. A good game ready mesh is just going to be one big single object, okay? So um, what I've got here is the, the blank uh, untextured mesh and then I've got a texture map, a diffuse texture map. I've got a glow map to show uh, where like the ship lights are and I've got a normal map. All right, now if you're going to import a normal map, you're going to want to go up to texture type and make sure you tell Unity that it's a normal map, all right? And uh, uncheck create from grayscale, so now you've got that. And uh, what we're going to do now is just start prepping the ship. So I have this thing called your model base. Basically, don't touch anything in this project except your model base. And it's an empty little area for you to grab your model drop it in as a child of your model base. Now when you see it, it's freaking huge and it's backwards, all right? So we're gonna select what we've dragged in, not your model base, but the child, and we're gonna hit R and just try to scale it down a little bit, all right? So it's more in line with this Chuck battleship. I'm also going to want to uh, adjust its position. It should be zero, 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 all right? That's its position relative to its parent, which is your model base. And I wanna rotate it. 180 degrees, so it's facing the same way as this example ship, all right? So this is uh, to give you a size reference for how ships should appear in the game. It's a Chook battleship. Now, uh, we can continue to scale this down a little bit, and um, I think that's probably a good size. And kind of make sure it's all centered up and looking good. Yeah, I think that looks nice. So I've got a little checklist you can see here that's uh, showing during the... Uh, you know, while you're editing. So you'll need to bring your, your OBJ in, you need some textures, you need to drag it into your scene and make it a child of your model base. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, we're gonna start texturing the ship. So what I have here is something called your shader. Now this is a complex shader that StarDrive uses to do all kinds of stuff to make the, the ship looks good. Just click it, drag it, and drop it onto the ship. And now what we need to do is take the textures and drag them into the appropriate slots on our shader. So I'll grab the diffuse texture and put it into the base diffuse. And oop, now we've got a pretty good looking ship. Um, the main color on this texture is a little bit messed up. You know, I wanna, I was working on a Klingon ship earlier, so you can go adjust this, uh, you know, make it white, or you can make it super green or whatever you want. But you know, the Enterprise is you know, probably somewhere in there uh, to help adjust the color. Uh, there's a normal map. Normal maps provide a little extra texturing, some, some bump mapping. Uh, so we can grab the normal map and drag that into the normal map slot. And then the other thing is we can uh, drag the glow map into the glow map spot. And now you can see the ship lights come on and you know already the ship is looking pretty good. Incidentally this light rig is pretty similar to what appears in the game. Okay so um, there are a few other settings that you can mess with on this shader. Um, you can set the specular gloss and colors. You can set like how shiny the ship is going to be when it when it, uh, it reflects light. So you can see if I mess the scaler, it, it looks like shinier on the engines. I'd say probably it's not going to be a very shiny ship. Um, now what we can also do is we have to set up the, the damage mapping on this ship, okay? So when the ship takes damage, you can make it, you know, start getting all scarred and ugly. And what we can do is grab the damage opacity slider and we can crank that up. And you can see that it gets all ugly, but uh, it's super tiled, right? You see like the repeat tiling. So what we want to do is go down to the uh, the damage uh, entries here. It's at X, Y, Z, and that Z is the scale. So 
grab the Z and kind of scale that damage texture up uh, so that you can see, yeah, the Enterprise is all messed up now. Um, we can do it some more if you want, or we can also like grab the X and the Y to kind of shift it uh, on the texture. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we'll do a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now we can see that like when the ship takes damage, it'll slowly go from looking good to looking beat to hell. Maybe you want even bigger. I don't know. Something like that. Now um, we can go back to select your model base. We're almost done setting this up. What we need to do is adjust the sphere collider and the capsule collider. Now the sphere collider is uh, the shield bubble. Now when I'm looking at uh, the ship, it looks like it's pretty well inside that that sphere collider, and I, I don't even think I want to touch it at all. It looks it looks good. Like this bubble is you know if someone shoots at this ship uh, and it has shields up, it's going to hit that bubble. And then the capsule collider is uh, the smaller one. That is for selecting the ship on the strategy map. Uh, so I could probably make this a little bit bigger. Um, so it just it just detects clicks on the strategy map. Uh, finally, we need to set up the mesh collider. Uh, this has an animation component. We can get rid of that. In fact, when you're looking uh, at this model, all right, you can see it has your model base and then fed galaxy is basically there's nothing here. This is animator. That's totally useless. And uh, we've got the mesh renderer is the third object. It's absolutely imperative that the mesh renderer be immediately under your model base. Are right? you so you've got to detach this and uh, and put it under underneath. And you can just get rid of that fed galaxy. So it goes your model base and then the child object is the mesh renderer. It's it's critical. It won't work if you don't do it. Uh, and we need to go in the same object that has the mesh renderer and add component and just go mesh collider. So this is just so that if a laser bolt hits the saucer section, it, you know, it knows where it got hit. You can kind of check that out. Um, all right, so that looks good. Now, uh, next up on our checklist, I'm just, oh yeah, we need to fill in the blanks on this uh, mod ship script. Okay, so this just helps StarDrive figure out uh, what you want to do with this ship. Um, let me turn the damage off. Damage down. Okay, so we want this to be probably, let's call it a cruiser. And the whole name is going to be uh, a galaxy class. And races that can use this ship, uh, number one is the humans. And then the icon 128 by 128. This is um, this is like what appears in the in the little like selection panel. So like a three quarters view uh, when you're looking to deploy the ship. So a good way to to do this is to maybe uh, just position your camera in the editor. Yeah, that looks good. And just snap a quick shot of it. Alt print screen. Go into something like Photoshop. And um, you know cut it down okay let's just clear that out clear out this junk all right and then set the image size to 128 by 128 and we'll save this so I'm just gonna save it to the desktop galaxy 128 ping and uh, then you can grab that texture off uh, where we saved it with a galaxy texture drag it back in here and then um, when we're back in this mod ship script just go ahead and drag this into the icon 128 okay so we're getting there now uh, this mod ship script is going to be expanding all right so right now there's just a limited amount of information that you can put in there but there's more that star drive could use you know this is a kind of early days as far as this tool goes but i want you guys to be able to get using it uh, quickly. So um, note that by the time you watch this video in a couple months, probably there'll be more options here. Uh, if you're confused, you can always go reference the actual script itself. Just open it up in Visual Studio or Mono Develop, and you'll see I've, I've commented about all of these things and, and what they do, all right? Um, now, the final step is to set up the module overlay, all right? So this is where you put the modules on, on the ships. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click play 
And now you can see this is exactly how it will appear in the shipyard. And up top you can see drawing quadrant four, and right and left arrow to change, center four, aft, port, starboard. Right. So what we need to do is draw uh, the, these areas on top of this ship hull. So I'm going to start with the, uh, the four, and um, you know, we'll kind of do a little design like this maybe. And if you screw up, you can just um, you can just right mouse to undo it. Right, that looks fine. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. All right, and then I'm going to switch. I'll go aft, so I'll do like an aft section to grab these engines. And you know, it doesn't need to be like super perfect. Um, Star Drive Two will, you know, make the most sense of it that it can. Uh, we'll go port, probably this part of the hull. Will be a good port section, and we'll go starboard. Um, not leaving myself a lot of room for the center, but we'll get to that. Okay, and uh, okay, Pima, make sure it's kind of even here. All right, so it's got six across. Oh, that one's got seven across. All right, Star Drive Two will make sense of it. All right, so relatively symmetrical now, and then uh, we can go into the center and just fill in the center slot. Uh, I'm sorry, you can hear my kid blabbing in the background, but that's the price of parenthood. Okay, so even though this doesn't look like perfectly centered, you don't need to like uh, kind of get crazy about making it look beautiful here because once it imports into Star Drive, it'll like center the pieces everything really nicely for you. Okay, so when you're done drawing your slots, um, let's go ahead and add a couple more. Just hit enter all right now this is the critical part don't screw this up all right you need to pause the game you need to go in here to your model base or i'm sorry to uh, the module overlay object and you need to go to this slot data script so this is where we've just this is where the data that we just created is stored you know, right click copy component and then you can stop execution and then you go to your model base and just click anywhere in here and click paste component as new. All right, so now we've that's all of the slot data information that we just stored. Okay, so now uh, what you want to do is you'll want to rename this, call it Galaxy Class. I'm gonna drag it over into the project folder. So what we what we've done is we've saved uh, the Galaxy Class as a prefab. Okay, so this is all the data that we put together now is is here, and we want to right click it and build an asset bundle from the selection all right and you want to find uh wherever you want to save it all right but it, it wants it's got to end up in your mods folder so this is where all your save games are right app data local low zero sum game star drive 2 mods and just drop it in ship so we'll call it galaxy class okay bam let's do um let's do one more while i've got you here all right so we're just going to build another one i'm going to just go ahead and, and delete the galaxy class i'm going to reload with my model base all right now oh, that needs to be set at zero 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 make sure to set that here as well okay and let's um let's do a klingon ship all right so let's go in here and i've got the uh, the katinga class cruiser with its textures drag it in all right and uh, let's drag the Katinga underneath your model base. I want to get rid of those other things. We can see that the Katinga texture, just like the last one, has this like, you know, we need to make sure to get the, the mesh renderer under your model base, okay? So delete whatever other crap there is, and now we've got the mesh renderer there. So we'll uh, go up here. We're going to scale her down. She's a big one. We're Oh no, it's off. Okay, here we go. I've got to set it to zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now, um, so we've set the position. We're scaling it. We're going to rotate it to face the same way as that Chook ship. Now, this model, you may notice um, when I select your model base and, and hit E, I can rotate. You can see that the pivot point is actually up in its neck. That I don't really like that. So I can grab the, the child object and just push it forward a little bit. So now when we're pivoting the whole thing, it's like kind of pivoting a little bit more from the center. I think that's a little bit better. Um, I think we should probably make it a bit bigger. Okay. And um, again, just remember to not touch your model base. It's important that the, um, that the position and the scale remain constant. There's my kid again. So 
But now that we've got the uh, a cruiser in place, we're going to start from the top again. We'll grab the uh, your shader. All right, we're going to grab it and we're going to drop it onto the Klingon cruiser. Now note that it's got the uh, textures from the Enterprise on it, so it's looking a little funky. But we can just go ahead and and put the the Klingon textures on it. Klingon glow map, Klingon normal map. Uh, we're going to need to set the normal map to uh, being a normal map. Uncheck create from grayscale. Okay. We're going to go in here, add the mesh renderer, or sorry, we're going to add the mesh collider. And we're going to go up here and uh, work with those sphere colliders. Those both look good. We're going to set the ship class. We'll make it a cruiser. We'll call it a Katinga. Races that can use this ship. Let's call it uh, human again. Uh, I've already got an icon made because I was messing with this earlier. Um, let me just grab it from my desktop. Katinga. There we go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw the Katinga in there. And uh, now we're looking pretty good here. So uh, with this particular model, I think I want to make it like a little darker so I could go into the Your Shader. I could grab uh, the color and, and maybe switch it into like a dark, darker green a little bit, you know, like a little bit more Klingon. Yeah, so that's looking pretty good, right? Um, great. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play, and I'm going to design the quadrants looking on the, the four. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, now that I'm done, I'll hit enter. I'm going to pause the game. Go up to my module overlay, copy the slot data script, copy component, and I'll stop. I'll go to my model base. I'm going to paste this component as new. And now um, I'll rename it Katinga. Drag it over here to make a prefab. So there's my prefab Katinga. And now I'm just going to save it. Build asset bundle, save it up into my mods folder, Katinga. Cool. All right, let's go over to Star Drive. So we should be down at the bottom. They're the last ones that got loaded. Well, there she is. There's the Enterprise, and there's the Katinga class cruiser. Going to the shipyard, sure enough. So, um, yeah, see how it kind of makes sense of, of what we did here. Why don't we have them duke it out, right? Let's design a ship real quick. Let's just do systems. Uh, so there's uh, there's still a few things left to do uh, to get this all perfectly game ready. If you notice with the Enterprise selected in this screen, uh, we don't have a little readout in the tactical display. So uh, by the time you get your hands on the mod tools, it'll probably be a way for you to, to bring that into the game. And there's a few other little kinks to work out, but for the most part, this is how you're going to get a ship in. Read the documents, uh, read the documentation on that mod ship script, hang out in the star drive two forms and ask questions. And uh, we're hopefully going to be able to make a bunch of really cool mods using these tools. Uh, so I've also uh, been talking to MC shooters, make shooters. I'm not sure how he likes to have his handles pronounced, but he made the shattered Alliance mod for um, star drive one. And so uh, he's going to try to get a, a, a day one star Trek mod together. And, uh, Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to get that integrated with Steam Workshop, and um, we're going to keep working on this. Until next time, this has been Zero, and I'll talk to you soon.